What's up guys? I'm Hannah. And I'm Haley. And we are Solely Soli Plant Girls. So for today's video we are going to be sharing how we became vegan. So if you like this video, <laughs> keep watching. <laughs> We're gonna just dive right into how we became vegan. So flashback to 20,000 <laughs> <laughs> to 2016, 20, 2016, 2016. So flashback to 200. <laughs> flashback to 2016. Anna actually started out the vegan train for us. We were in Colorado on winter break on a ski trip, and I just remember. All she would talk about the week prior was how badly she wanted to eat a cookie ice cream sandwich. And then we were out to dinner one night and we ordered a cookie ice cream sandwich and she's like, I'm like, hey, Anna, like you've been wanting this. And she's like, no, I can't eat it, I'm vegan. And I'm like, you what? I had no idea how to go vegan or why I was going vegan in the first place. I just knew that I wanted to. Um, and so then I was like, no, I'm not eating the cookie. But I had had cookies in Colorado like, before that. before then. It was just like a random, okay, All I'm of a sudden, vegan. I was like, I'm vegan. And my whole family is just was like, like, what? Uh -huh. So the idea was there, and it's just funny because I probably wasn't the nicest to her about going vegan, and then... You were so mad. A little bit weird. after we came back from Colorado is when I kind of started my journey because I learned about, more about the environment, and I didn't really know much about how bad meat was for the environment until I took an environmental studies class and was like, oh my gosh, why do I eat meat? Like, why do I need it? And at this point, I don't think I really had any dairy or red meat just because I knew that it wasn't good for you. I knew that it was bad for your skin and all the saturated fat and red meat and I just cut that out. Like, I didn't really have a need for it in my life at that time. And I'm like, well, why do I eat chicken, why do I eat fish, like, yeah, if it's so bad for the environment and you don't need it to survive. So that's kind of like where my journey started, it was like a health and environment thing. I wasn't even thinking about going vegan when I learned this stuff, I was just like I don't want to eat meat anymore. And then I started doing my research and I think I just dove into so many documentaries like Forks Over Knives, What the Health. Um, I read this book called Skinny Bitch, which I love that book, and I was like, I'm going vegan. <laughs> like, that was just it for me. I was like, I'm going vegan. It's healthier. Why do I want to cause harm to animals? Um, why do I want to cause harm to the environment? Like, this just was to yourself. Me feel good. Yeah, to my own body. I think that summer, that upcoming summer, I switched probably every month between being vegan and being pescatarian. And the months when I was pescatarian, I still didn't eat dairy, um, but I did eat fish and eggs, so I was pesca ovatarian, I guess. And I would go back and forth because I knew I wanted to be vegan, but it was hard because. Oh, I can't remember that. Yeah, my I couldn't really make my own food at home because my mom was always cooking, and getting mad that I wouldn't eat her food, and this was just. Not like that it was easier for myself, but it was easier for the people around me for me to eat fish and eggs because they felt more comfortable that um, they, they knew you were getting some sort of like animal product. Yeah, because that's what they've grown up eating and that's what they're used to. So um, that was more comfortable, I guess, for the people around me. And I didn't want to put anyone at inconvenience because of my lifestyle. I was vegan before and then I went into college and changed to be pescatarian, pesca overtarian, because again, like with just with traveling for soccer or just like um, getting at a dining hall, yeah, just from being in a new environment, peers. it was hard to be vegan. But then November 1st came. I don't know why, always on a first, I'm just like, yeah, let's do this, I'm vegan. But November 1st came around, and so that was what, a couple months after school started, and I was like, you know, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of not eating the way I want to and not feeling the way I want to. I'm going vegan and that was it. I've been vegan ever since and like, I'm so happy. Like, I would yeah. never go back. After your whole 
vegan shablam, yeah. you eventually would slowly start trying to influence us. So you'd be like, oh really? Like you're gonna eat that meat? Or like you would say snarky comments yeah, like that. Yeah, I didn't go about it really well at Like first. you were, or you would get mad and you would be like, watch this, she would send me videos <laughs> of like animals getting slaughtered and like, I, at this point in my life, I was paleo. I had been paleo for almost a year. Um, yeah, so I had no gluten and no dairy, but I still ate eggs and I still ate uh, chicken. And why did you I was, choose to do that? I chose to go paleo because I had, I've been suffering with like chronic back pain for almost five years now and it was recommended by a chiropractor to try going paleo because it can help reduce inflammation and I don't know. I tried it, it didn't really do that much for me but I just knew that I felt like I was eating healthier and I didn't get tempted to eat, I guess, junk food all the time. I didn't, I didn't feel like that much of a difference, I mean I knew like with gluten and dairy, like I felt less bloated, but that was pretty much it. And then you kept would just send me things because I would eat a lot of chicken throughout the week and eggs, and you would just be like, really, like, uh, like watching me, and I always felt like uncomfortable. And I'm like, why are you watching me? Like, eat my food? Like, let me be. You would show me stuff or be like, do you even like know what you're eating? And I'm like, I don't want to know what I'm eating. I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to know and see how these animals are getting treated. And looking back on it now. It's because the reason I didn't want to know those things was because I knew that if I did, that I would could, change, yeah, yeah, that it would change my perspective. And I was kind of just like, let me be. Like, I just want to eat me, and I just want to eat the way that I'm eating now, and not think about where my food is coming from, like what is happening to the animals in the process. Like, I just I see it as what I see it as. I don't see it as something more. And so that was me being super close-minded. Well, also, I would not go about it in the way I went about it to try to convince someone of your perspective. We <laughs> but the only person I did that to was Hannah because, like, she's the one who initially, like, started, like, she wanted to go vegan before I even knew what veganism was. So I knew it was in her heart. Like, I could see that, like, she was so close yeah. to, like, breaking through. So I think that's why I was as annoying as I was. Yeah. And I was so, like, persistent on trying to make her go vegan it just made her want to rebel more yeah but I think when I just sh gave her her space then she did her research on her own and came to her own realizations and I it was just this past winter break that she texted me and she's like Haley when you come home from school for winter break I'm going vegan yeah like I guess I was like I'll eat vegan with you the whole winter the break. whole winter break and then I'll go back to eating paleo it's crazy that was so recent yeah. because you're like just on the, the same most, level I am now. Maybe even more. Yeah. Yeah. I started watching some people on YouTube as well. And then I started realizing like what Haley was feeling and I started kind of understanding like your perspective. And so then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go vegan for winter break and see how it is. Okay, sorry, the lighting kind of got dark, so we just had to brighten it up a bit. So, I was at the store and I texted Hannah if she wanted me to get her some B12 spray because I wasn't gonna buy her some if she was only doing it um, over winter break because B12 can last and it's stored in your liver and it can last in your liver for three to four years, so, and I already had some B12 spray at home so it wasn't a necessity for her if she was only doing it for the short period of time. I texted her to see if she wanted some, kind of to see if she was going to do it long term and she was like, I don't know. I was like super hesitant. I was, yeah. And I kind of was going back and forth with, with myself, kind of what you were saying, like I was like, is this like healthy for me? Then I think I did buy you that B12 spray. You did because I eventually was like, you know what? Ugh. I was like so, like, really, and then you were it. like, okay, you were like, just I'll, I'll just get it. I was like, okay, and then winter break happened, and I, from there on, it was December twenty second. From there on, I've been completely vegan. So it's been about I've only been vegan for like five months now, but I, it's like years. it feels like years because you become so like invested in uh -huh. it too. And eventually, I was like, oh my gosh, why have I not been mm -hmm. vegan? Like after knowing all of the facts. I always tell people, 
like who judge me for it or criticize me for it I'm like knowledge is power and once you have that knowledge why would you not want to put it into practice mm -hmm. so basically that is our how we became vegan story and we hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned some new fun facts about us and veganism and we will catch you in our next video thanks for watching